Good morning, it's 9am on the, the following day. So I spent two to two and a half hours yesterday doing this painting. And let's see how dry it is. So that is completely touched dry. So less than 24 hours later, let's touch dry. Um, I find that the only thing that is not dry the next day, not totally dry the next day, is the white. So titanium white is, is a bit tacky. But all the dark areas, Oh, there's a bit of tack there. It's just a little bit thicker than I would normally paint. And it's just coming off with my fingers. But everything else is pretty much dry. Dry enough for me to continue working and fixing up the problems. So this is now, this has turned from uh, an exercise in, um, in painting without black. I'm still not going to use black. I'll still persist in using my combination of cobalt blue and actually the brilliant red and the the brilliant red and the cobalt blue make a better dark than the uh, the carmine and the cobalt blue. So I'll be using that to make the black now I've been looking at this painting. The biggest issue really is, I think that, well, besides the fact that the nose is, is a touch too long, I'm not gonna change that. That'll be too major a change. But that's what, what, what you happen when you do freehand without any kind of measurements, you get these these problems, but um, I'm not fussed about it. It's not a commission. As long as it looks fairly normal, I'm fine with that. What I'm gonna to do today is, if you notice on the original picture, she's her head, her eyes are looking straight forward, but her head is slightly tilted. Consequently, this cheek and this side of her face is half hidden. And the corner of her eye is um, in from the edge of the nose. If you look on this side, the corner of her eye is virtually in line with the edge of her nose here it's slightly in so that's another clue that the face is is tilted at this very subtle angle the other thing is the shape of the mouth you, you see it seems to be extending here and it's foreshortened here so the, the face is wrapping around uh, this nostril here is more prominent than this nostril here these are all clues. Now let's go to mine. And we can clearly see that mine is looking straight on. My mouth is straight on. It's a little bit wet still there. Uh, the lips. Are too f that top lip is too full. Um, I mean, these are other issues. That bottom lip is more straight across. Mine is kind of dipping in the in the middle. I'll fix that up. But the lips are too red. But the main issue is that this eye, this whole eye, needs to be moved very subtly, a few mil. 
So I'll be moving that eye. That'll be the major operation today, moving the eye. The nose, I don't think, is wide enough. She's got quite a wide nose. Look at the, the relative width of that nose compares to the size of the, of the eye. And it's almost the same. Look at the relative width of my nose to the eye. And the eye is much bigger. I think the eye is too big. I tend to make the eyes too big. Look at this face. Look at the relative size of the eye to the face. Look at mine. Look at the relative size of the eye to the face. So the eye is too big. Both eyes are too big. The eye needs to be moved. Only slightly, but it has to be moved. The nose needs to be wider. This nostril, which on my painting is only slightly smaller than that nostril, needs to be significantly smaller. Um, because it's it's hidden. The shape of this mouth is wrong. So all these things I've, I've identified over here, the foreshortening of the mouth, the smaller nostril, the eye hidden behind the nose. I just need to get this whole chunk of face and move it slightly in. And that's going to also decrease the size of this cheek. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, that's also going to... The other thing I want to fix up possibly is the shape of the forehead. Mine is too round here. It needs to be coming in slightly. Coming in slightly. These are all subtle changes. So this is now turned into an exercise of how to fix things up. I mean, I don't need to fix this up, but I will fix it up. Why not? So the things I want to do is to... I want to bring that eye in. further so what I think I'll do is just to force myself to do that I'm just going to remove that eye let's get rid of that eye completely and that's shocking So it's not distracting me anymore. And I'm, I'm going to... This node needs to be extended out. And you can see that the white paint is still a bit wet which for my purposes is good and the shape of that mouth is wrong I also want to, these, these lips are too red. That lip needs to extend more across, like so. And 
that's mouth is foreshortened. Um, so basically, I'm just basically I'm just reworking those areas that I'm going to be fixing up. So I guess I'm forcing myself by by doing all these marks. I'm forcing myself to to be decisive about making these changes. And that's going to come in. I I want to extend the shadow further out. The eyes, both eyes are too big, so I'm going to also be working on this eye as well. So I'm doing a few substantial changes. And you should be, you should have the confidence to, to do that. I know it's quite shocking. You, you put in a lot of work, you think, wow, it's, that's good. I like that. It, you think, oh, it's got a few problems, but it's good. And I'm, I'm too scared to change anything. So you need to, to have the confidence that whatever you've done before, you can do again. So it's all about confidence. So I've decided I can just see where the eye used to be and I, I think the eye should actually be more like this. the upper lid goes more like this and the inner part so the pupil the pupil is significantly further in the pupil used to start, the iris, sorry, used to start there. It's now going to start here. And it's going to end here. And I'm trying to make it smaller as well. So you can see that I've made the eye smaller because if you compare it to the other eye, it looks a lot smaller. So the other eye, the same deal. Now the other eye is a bit trickier. This this is this spot is in the right position. So what I need to do is to bring that side of the eye in and the pupil needs to come in the pupil needs to be smaller the pupil needs to be smaller so I'm just that white is obviously way too white, but I just want to make things smaller, bring that across. The corner of the eye, the bottom of the eye is going to be there. It goes to there. Right, I think I've made the eyes smaller. I 
I want the eyes to be looking straight forward. This eye looks like it's looking over there. So I'll change the shape of that at some point. So those eyes have changed. The centre of the nose, the nose, look at this white area here, it's quite chunky. The white area here, it extends over, further, over to that side of the face. The, the shadow extends at an angle into the center um, the center needs to be more over here and that looks about right so I'm just kind of roughing what I want to do so this eye has substantially moved so this hair is going to be here and here now this bit of whiteness here is way too long so I'll be shortening that um, so the corner of the eye is now going to be beyond the edge of the nose, which is going to be about here. The mouth is going to extend to there, and the shape of the mouth needs to change. So I've got a bit of work to do there. Um, this upper lip is too fat. So I'm going to get some, I'm going to get, make up some black now and make those, make those dark changes. Okay, so the corner of the eye is going to be over here. The pupil is going to start here. Sorry, the iris is going to start here. side of the pupil of the iris is there and the eye extends no further than that looking at the picture you have this little dark area here 
and that's lining up with the corner of the eye. Let's go over here. The darkest area is there. The nostril extends around here. So I think I've widened the nose. And this lip is kind of foreshortened compared to this. This this side is, is quite long. This side is foreshortened. And That upper lip is not so is not so thick. I think that mouth is looking more accurate now. I've got that foreshortening in. I want to knock back the colour of these lips because they are just too red. So I've done I've done some fairly major changes there and I've obviously got to do some more refinement, but I've decreased the size of both eyes. I still need to work on the outside of that, of this eye. That area of white is way too big. So what I'm trying to do in this little demonstration today is show you that you do have to be bold. You have to be confident that you know you can fix up problems. So I think I've made those eyes smaller, they need to be smaller. Look at the size of that mouth compared to the eyes. And I think that is better. Right, you've got to make sure that these eyes are in line. I think even on the original, her, her left eye is lower than her right eye. Or is that just an optical illusion? No, it's about the same. I 
think that's okay now. So, is that approaching more that? I think the mouth is definitely better. I need some more black. I need to make some more of this black up. I think now I need to change that profile, the chin. I think I've made it too fat here. So possibly I've made the chin too big as well. So let me move that. So I've made quite a substantial change to that jawline. Possibly too much of a change here. I've made her chin a bit smaller again because she does really have a very small chin. So the question is, is her face looking more over to the left, to her left. And I think the answer is yes. So, what I'm going to do is now do some refining and then we'll have another look. Okay, well I've done about an hour's more work on this. And I think I'll call it a day now. I might just tidy up the edges later on. But I've reduced the size of the eyes. I've changed the shape of the mouth. I've widened the nose. Um, so I've done all the things that I indicated I was going to do. I've changed the jawline. And now... I feel it's much more like the original. Obviously the nose is a trifle long, but um, I'm not going to do anything about that. That's too big a chore. So let's call it a day.